हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कैपटेक प्रो इन दिस वीडियो विल लर्न हाउ टू प्री प्रोविजन वन राइट फॉर यूजर्स इन आवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स गो टू आवर लैब एनवायरनमेंट एंड लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन प्री प्रोविजन वन राइट फॉर यूजर्स इन आवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव लॉक्ड इन टू आवर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री अकाउंट सो नाउ First of all the question is why we need to pre-provision one drive for our users So guys by default the first time that a user browse to their one drive it's automatically created or you can say it's provisioned for them In some of the cases you might want your users one drive location to be ready beforehand or you can say you want to pre-provision so that those cases are like your organization has a custom process for adding new employees and you want to create a one drive when you add a new employee the second case is when your organization plans to migrate from sharepoint server on prem to microsoft 365 and the third case is when your organization plans to migrate from another online storage service okay friends so now let's proceed for pre provisioning one drive for our users so i will open microsoft 365 admin center and i will click on this navigation menu i will expand users and now i will click on active users so friend these are our users of our organization and most of them are using one drive so like how you can check like the for this particular user one drive is already there or not so if i will click on my username there is a tab of one drive if i will click on it here you can see get access to the files and if i will click click on create link to files so for this particular user this is my account so you can see this is the link of my one drive files so if you have access you can directly click on this link and you can go to my one drive you can see it is open and there are few files inside it make sure before you proceed for pre provisioning one drive for a user make sure you have given the license to the particular user so i have given the license now let's understand this video demonstration with an example so i have created three user account i have assigned them a license as of now there is no one drive provision for these three users like if i will click on the one drive tile here you can see there is a message like one drive isn't set up for this user ask the person to go to portal.office.com one drive to set set it up so i am a global administrator so i want for these three users their one drive site to be pre provision before they join us so you can see the property of user 2 as well same is there like one drive for this particular user is also not set up and if i talk about the third user same i have not pre provision one drive site for this particular user so now if you don't want to pre provision the one drive site it automatically gets provisioned or created for the user once the user will log in using their credentials then they simply have to click on this app launcher and once he will click on one drive automatically for those user their one drive site will be created now let's see how we can pre provision it so guys before you proceed make sure the user account that you are pre provisioning their one drive must be allowed to sign in and must also have a sharepoint license assigned as i've already told you to pre provision one drive by using powershell you must be a global admin and must be assigned a sharepoint license so friends let's open notepad so here we have to simply enter the upn of all these three users so let me open the user one and this is a username and email so i will copy this i will paste it on notepad for all the three users i will do the same thing i will paste the same one simply i will delete this and i will paste two friends make sure you are entering the correct username and email for the users whom you want to pre provision the one drive now i will click on file i will save this file i will save this particular file in my desktop i will save this okay now i will close this file so friends now let's open our powershell i will right click on windows powershell and i will click on run as administrator 
okay friends so now we are on powershell so first of all i will enter the command to connect to my microsoft 365 account so i will type connect dash msol service i will press enter now i will provide my credentials okay so now i am connected to my microsoft 365 account using powershell now i will type my first command i will type dollar now i will give the file name equals to now i will type get dash content space dash path space now i will enter the inverted commas now here i will enter the path of my file so let me open my c drive so this is the i have saved the file now in my c drive so i will copy this path i will paste it over here and now i will give the file name which is onedrive dot txt now i will press enter okay now i have to run the last command which request dash spo personal site now we'll type request dash spo dash spo personal site space dash user emails space underscore now i will type the file name which is one right now after entering this i will press enter okay so we have not connected to our spo service yet so that's why we are getting this error message so first of all i will type connect dash spo service now here i will enter the url of my sharepoint service here i will click on show all and now i will click on sharepoint so this is my sharepoint admin center url i will copy this i will minimize this now i will open my powershell let me paste the url i will press enter again it will ask me to enter the credentials okay now we are connected to our sharepoint admin center now i will try to run the command request spo personal site dash user emails one drive i will press enter okay so our command is now executed now let's go back to our microsoft 365 admin center i will minimize this here i will expand users i will click on active users i will click on user one name here i will click on one drive and you can see now my one drive is provisioned for my user user one if i will click on create link to files so you can see this is a one drive personal site which is now provisioned pre provisioned for my user one now let's check the same for user two i will click on one drive you can see for him as well we have provisioned the one drive so this is a one drive personal site for user 2 now let's check for my last user user 3 i will uh, click on create so you can see for him as well we have pre provisioned one drive personal site for our user 3 if i will click on the link you can see i am able to access the one drive for my user 3 so friends that's how we pre provision one drive for our users in our organization in our next upcoming videos we'll see how to pre provision one drive for all the license user in our organization so guys 
that's it for this video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video